Hello, I'm Ian Williamson. I am a senior here at NAU. I'm from Peoria, Arizona. And I chose fitness wellness as my major because ever since coming to college, I knew I was interested in physical therapy. And I knew fitness wellness was one of those uh, good majors that you could take that route for. And uh, I actually be started out as an exercise science major. And as I realized and looked into the future of the classes I would be taking and the progression plan, I realized um, like it was mainly learning about like the cellular level, exercise at the cellular level, more of the science-y aspect. And I discovered fitness wellness and learned that it was a lot more practical and like actually understanding the more practical side and like the physical use of physical activity and nutrition and things like that. And I'm, I was much more interested in that because I am passionate about um, physical therapy, working out, physical activity, just uh, understanding and knowing the human body and how it works. I really enjoy learning that stuff. And um, so going through the program, the fitness wellness program, at the beginning, I was still taking all those science-y classes that I wasn't as excited about. But as I moved along in my uh, career, my college career, about junior year last year, I, we really started to get into those practical things that I was really looking forward to. And that, that's the past two years of being in fitness, the fitness wellness program has been really exciting, doing a lot of hands-on stuff. I know with COVID, it, it's been a little different than what it would have been, but I've still been learning a lot of more practical use and I've been implementing it in my life, which... I've really enjoyed actually ends up implementing my knowledge, unlike the more science-y lecture classes where you just learn the content and you take tests and that's about it. So, and how that's impacted my view on like profession and future careers. Like I said, I want to do physical therapy. So me doing those pr more practical things and actually working with people on things that I would likely be working on in the future as a physical therapist has been really awesome. It's taught me a lot. It's taught me a lot of communication skills, just how to work with others, especially when it's things like physical activity and exercise, things like that. So the two jobs I found, the first one was a sports performance specialist. And this is actually at the Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona. So this particular job interested me because I'm a huge sports fan. I love all sports. As you could ask anyone, I'm always talking about sports, watching sports. I'm just really interested in it. I uh, I played sports all my life growing up, so it's mainly baseball. Um, so I think it would just be awesome working with a lot of athletes and just using my using my specialization to help people get better performance wise and not their sport. And that's that's really kind of what my end goal is. Even if it's physical therapy, I'd like to do that in some sort of sports or athletic therapy. So what attributes from the job posting do you already have? So I'm uh, about to finish my bachelor's degree. I'm in a health sciences degree. Um, participation in competitive high school sports. I played baseball throughout my whole high school career. Played a lot of club ball. So outside of high school, I just did a lot of that stuff. Um, thorough understanding of human physiology and anatomy. I've taken about two of those classes with the labs and a couple other biology classes that have to do with exercise. Um, proficiency with Microsoft Office software and a valid driver's license and clean driving record. So what required skills or attributes of the job posting are you missing? So mine would be a uh, minimum three plus years of experience in strength and conditioning coaching in collegiate or pro sports. A certificate with the National Strength and Conditional Association and CPR certified. So what would help me be a stronger candidate for the job? Um, I'd say improving knowledge of all sports because this is a general sports performance job. You would be working with a lot of athletes, it seems, throughout the entire school. So just like, understanding how all the other sports work and mechanisms injury or certain nutrition needs, things, certain workout plans, things like that. I think that would be a really key factor in that. And just experience in the field after graduation. Like I said, they want three plus years in that field. And then how would you go about acquiring the necessary job requirements? Um, so get certified in the required areas, look into jobs and or internships that are related to this job that would help me with my clinical experience. And just study more sports performance specific knowledge just to get that, um, that more in-depth detail of the specific job.
And so the second job I found was a, phys a physical therapy job as a physical therapist, which is my, my dream job, my dream career. This is, the company's called Advent Health Sports Medicine and Rehab, and it is in Kissimmee, Florida. So why does this job interest me? Well, that's my plan. That's what I want to um, continue doing after school. I want to go to PT school and just become a physical therapist at the end of the day. Um, what attributes from the job posting do you already have? Not really any. I'm con uh, finishing my bachelor's degree. That's about all I can say for that. And then what required skills or attributes for the job? Basically, a master's or doctoral degree in physical therapy, licensed physical therapist in the state of Florida, and two years of clinical experience. I have had internships um, for physical therapy, so but I'm not I'm not at two years yet. But yeah, basically, and then the last two the last two questions are kind of tying together. It's what would you help be a strong candidate for the job, and how would you go about it? Basically, just um, attending PT school after I graduate from undergrad and graduating from PT school with my master's in physical therapy because that's that's basically the gist of what you because you have to have that for to become a physical therapist you you can't really do that without doing that so that's why I said those two answers tying together because you got to have your master's in PT from a PT school so but other than that just get more knowledge and experience, study more physical therapy related things such as rehab programs, exercise programs, getting internships, observation hours, things like that. But yeah, so those are my two jobs I found that I would be interested in looking into post-college and that's about it. Thank you.